Are you wondering how to create high quality infographics with ChatGPT in a matter of minutes? Well, that's what I'm going to show you in this quick tutorial. So be sure to stick around for the entire video. And if this happens to be your first time to the channel, welcome. My name is Ryan and my mission is to help you navigate the overwhelming world of artificial intelligence. And if you want to know my favorite AI tools and prompts that I'm using for marketing and content creation, be sure to get my free AI marketing essentials guide. You can find the link for this in the video description or pinned comment below. So infographics, in my opinion, are one of the best real world applications that came from ChatGPT's 4.0 image upgrade. We can use these on things like blog posts, social media posts, emails, and various other content formats to make us look more professional and just appear more high quality and help the user overall. So how did I create this? Well, I'm gonna show you a few ways that you can create infographics with ChatGPT. The first way is that you can simply find an existing infographic that you want to repurpose with your information, your colors, etc. So all I did was I typed in simple infographic on Google Images and found this as the first one. And I just like this, right? It's very basic. It's simple. It's not very complex. There's not a lot of text. So I like this. And I went ahead and saved this to my desktop. And then I pulled up ChatGPT. Make sure you're on 4.0 to do this. Another quick tip is I'd recommend being on chat GPT plus you're going to have more usage. It's going to be faster. If you're trying to do this on the free version, it's going to be very slow and you're going to run into a lot of errors most likely. So then what you want to do is initiate the image generation. And then I left it with this prompt and I can leave this prompt and all the prompts that I'm going to mention in the video description below. And then I went ahead and uploaded that infographic from Google. And then I also uploaded my headshot that I use on my YouTube channel. So the prompt reads the following. I want you to edit this infographic and make it the top six benefits of chat GPT, not the top six benefits of thankfulness. Use my attached logo and place it on the top left. Also use the colors based on my logo. And then I gave it the actual six benefits of chat GPT that I wanted it to say. That's a very important detail. The more details that we can include in this prompt to include on the infographic the better results that we're going to get. And then I said change the icons to make it look more AI tech based. And so in a matter of a few minutes, this is the infographic that it created. Very high quality considering this was the first iteration of this in my opinion. It used a different logo which is interesting than what I uploaded but it's not bad either way. Everything is spelled, or it looks like it misspelled this, six benefits or chat GPT. That's the only error I can find in this infographic. So I would wanna make sure that that's fixed. You can maybe tweak this in Canva or Photoshop to fix little things like this. But all the other text and icons and the colors and even the dimensions and whatnot, look pretty spot on, right? I'm impressed with this type of thing here. Now you could obviously use other infographics or just other iterations of this if you want, but I wanted to show you a basic example of how you can repurpose an existing infographic and then edit that based on your niche and your topic. Now, another way to create infographics with ChatGPT is repurposing your own content, such as a blog post. And I actually prefer this method over the first one. So how did I create this infographic? Well, what I did is I took a blog post from one of my clients' websites titled five ways dental practices can use AI right now. And literally all I did was copy and paste this entire blog post upload it to AI, pasted it right here. And then what I did is uploaded the client's logo. That way I'm telling ChatGPT, hey, use this logo, also use the colors inside this logo. And I prompted it with the following. I want you to create a simple infographic based on the blog post I provide. Use the attached logo and title it five ways dental practices can use AI. Make sure everything looks nice and fits inside the image. Here's the blog post. And then I pasted the blog post in a matter of about a few minutes. This is the infographic that I got. This is something that I can take and put inside that blog post, share it on all the social media channels for my client and repurpose it in various other ways. And just looking at this for the first time, I don't see anything that's misspelled here. I'm sure I'm missing something as you guys are probably gonna catch something in the comments, um, but a very high quality infographic nonetheless, just from taking an existing blog post and telling ChatGPT to repurpose that into an infographic. I also did the same thing with my website on AIinsidertips.com with my Blaze AI review. I basically told it to repurpose this blog post into one that says benefits of Blaze AI. And I gave it the Blaze AI logo. And then here's the infographic that it created. Now, 
This is a lot more simple than what I got on the first one, but I'm just showing you that you can use your existing blog posts and maybe social media posts if they're long enough to repurpose those into engaging infographics. Now I must be transparent with you here and let you know that I also tried to repurpose one of my YouTube videos and turn that into an infographic and this process did not work. Maybe there's a bug or maybe for some reason there's an error with it reading transcripts. I'm not sure what the deal is. But basically what I did is I said, hey, create an infographic titled seven chat GPT hacks based on my YouTube video. Here's the logo. And then also here's my transcript. So I took that transcript from my YouTube video titled chat GPT hacks, came back here. And then this is the infographic that I got from chat GPT. Completely unrelated, right? Not even related to AI tech or anything. So I'm just being transparent with you guys here and saying that this process, for whatever reason, isn't working for me to repurpose YouTube videos, but I can make flawless infographics with blog posts and also repurposing existing infographics into new ones based on my branding colors, etc. So that's my quick tutorial on how to create infographics with ChatGPT. And if you've made it this far into the video, I just wanna say I truly appreciate you. If you found value, be sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Also, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And lastly, if you wanna take your AI skills and knowledge to the next level, I'd recommend checking out my AI Marketing Insiders community. This is truly a no BS community for marketers, content creators, business owners, and really anyone who's just trying to stay ahead in the overwhelming world of artificial intelligence. Inside this community, you get access to all of my courses. I do weekly live Q and A's, which is your chance to pick my brain every week. And there's also just a great group of people in here that are very driven and want to learn AI together. It's a great networking opportunity as well. I will be raising the price to enter this community soon. So be sure to hop in by clicking the link that you can find below this video. But most most importantly, guys, I hope you all have a great day.